Hey guys, welcome to another video! <laughs> Today we're going to be making stewed oxtail. It's a favorite in my family and it's funny, the same dad made this oxtail. My grandma in New York made the same exact dinner because we're all like mentally connected. We're just all here. But anyway, <laughs> um, first you're going to start with three pounds of oxtail meat. You can get it from your local butcher or your local Caribbean store. I got mine from the Caribbean store and oxtail, first of all, is expensive as hell. It's like $8 a pound, so... Just so you're weary, oxtail is expensive. You're going to roughly chop two onions. They don't have to be fine. don't have to be perfect. Just roughly chop that. Then you're going to add two teaspoons of curry powder. I personally like Chiefs. I don't really like um, the Jamaican curry powder because it kind of tastes bland to me. It doesn't really taste like curry powder. Then you're going to add two teaspoons of jerk seasoning. I know you guys are like jerk seasoning bitch what are you doing trust the process jerk seasoning then you're going to add three taste tablespoons of oxtail seasoning these seasonings i got from my local caribbean store um i believe every state has one don't quote me on that but i believe they do then you're going to add two teaspoons of black pepper peppers always then you're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. You don't need that much salt because the oxtail seasoning and jerk seasoning, they have salt in it. But you need salt because you are going to be using a lot of water. So just be mindful of that. Then you're going to add two teaspoons minced garlic. I usually, I don't like chopping garlic, um, fresh garlic because A, I'm lazy. B, the garlic smell is just annoying. So what I like to do, I buy like these jars from um, Walmart or your like your regular grocery store. They sell them in like jars. And yeah, they're already mint. So you can just, boom, put them in your fridge and they're good. Now you're going to roughly stir everything together. And they should be seasoned like that. Like it should, like the rough seasoning should look like that. Then you're going to add a half a teaspoon of scotch bonnet pepper sauce. Also from your local Caribbean market. And then you're also going to add a half a teaspoon of browning. Browning gives it that, like, brown color. You can use browning for your meats. You can use it um, for your cakes um, around Christmas time. I actually use browning for um, my rum cake that my mom taught me how to make. Yes. So look out for that around Christmas time. But back to this. Um, so, yeah, a half teaspoon of browning. Then once you add those two sauces then you're gonna stir this is when you really need to get in there mind you some of these seasonings they do stay like curry powder they do stay so what you need to do if you have um if you have fake nails just be mindful of that you can use a glove i personally like to get in there and make sure like all my meat is seasoned to perfection so i really get in there with my hands and i mean granted you should know that you need to wash your hands before you even start cooking if you didn't know now you know but yeah so you're gonna you need to get in there so you need to have clean, fresh, ready hands to get in there and really see the stuff. You can use gloves. It's not so it's not like you can't use gloves. You can. Then once you season that up, it should look like so. Perfectly seasoned. Amazing. Then you're gonna marinate this 24 hours before you actually start cooking, or at least five hours before, because you really want the seasoning to really penetrate the oxtail meat. Um I personally like to season my oxtail in the pot that I'm going to cook them in and before I even cook them I transfer them to a bowl and then I add one fourth one fourth cup oils to that pot and you take the oxtail take the onions off the oxtail and you sear about three minutes per side to seal on the juices searing is essential you work in batches you don't want to overcrowd your pot because they're all going to be boiled together but right now for searing you just work in small batches then after searing your oxtail should look like that like they should look amazing like that looks good enough to eat right now that kind of looks really good enough. but it's not fully done yet so just wait trust the process they should look like that perfectly seared on each side then after you sear it you add the rest of the oxtail and your onions back into the pot you add two and a half cups of water Every time you add water, you should definitely taste it because, you know, water tastes, water might make it a little fresher. So you might need a little more salt, a little more garlic powder. Just be mindful of that. Anytime you add water in this recipe, taste, 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 taste. taste. It's essential. Then you're going to add three sticks of thyme, one teaspoon garlic powder, two teaspoons ketchup, and a half a teaspoon of curry powder. 
you're reseasoning this for the water because like I said, the water may or may not make it fresh, but you need to taste to be aware of where your seasoning levels are. So, and then you're going to stir all those up and then you're going to fill the pot with enough water to cover the meat. You want the meat to be fully submerged in water. So when it stews down, you get like this nice fall off the bone meat and trust me this process it might take a, a little bit to make these oxtails but trust me when it's done you're gonna be like shit like damn like this is amazing trust the process so you're gonna cook covered um on low for two and a half hours then i'm okay first of all if you're leaving the the oxtail on low for two and a half hours don't leave your house don't leave your stove on and you're not home you never know what could happen so be mindful. Then um, the one can of butter beans is optional. My dad and my grandma, they actually use butter beans when they make oxtail. Some people don't. My dad actually put me on to using canned beans. I used to like try to soak the beans and cook them myself and I always failed horribly. So I use canned beans. It tastes the same. It's a whole lot easier process. So you use one can of butter beans. You add more water to fill back up your pot. And remember, taste, taste, taste. And then you cover and you cook an hour and a half on medium low or until meat is falling off the bone, which it will be because of trust. And as it stews down, the, the sauce does get thicker, so you don't need to add anything else to the sauce to get it thickness. If you watched my last video, you know about these bowls. Um, so my husband, he just eats meat, so he just got a meat for oxtail. So boom. You just serve and you just it's amazing it's so juicy and tender and oh the flavors the flavors this can be served with rice and peas and i also had a side salad you can look out for those recipes coming in the near future also be mindful that oxtail is addicting and they are expensive so think about it <laughs> anyway thank you guys for watching this video please like comment share tell me what you like to see next um if you really want me to give you a recipe for that salad it's something i learned from my mom and my dad it's bomb as hell give me a comment and i'll do it for you guys bye